Hello folks, Vladimir here, and welcome to episode 5 of my playthrough of Silent Hill 3. And today we're going to try and catch the subway train home. That's if we can find the subway train. Let's see what we can find around here. No, most of these doors I think are going to be locked. I think this is going to be a kind of intermediate area to try and get us to our goal, which is back at home. Doesn't sound pleasant down there, does it? And that's where we need to go. Bergen Street. Marvellous. That's Hazel Street. I've come the wrong way, okay? Bergen Street is this way. Okay. Let's see what we can find down here. Oh, that's a couple of dogs. Switch weapon. And our health status is okay, so we should be okay to deal with these guys. stairs and go on the other side of the station this way. Oh, a health drink. Excellent. See if there's anything else around here. No, there's nothing here. Okay. Let's get out of here, Heather and hope we don't get lost. Now well, we've had all of this happen, and we haven't even got to the town of Silent Hill yet. So I guess that's going to come later on. Obviously Silent Hill is wanting to, to come and see Heather, that's for sure. Okay, let's pick up the map and see where we are. Right, so we need to explore all of this floor then. Of course, as always, we need to explore all of the doors. You can tell how the gameplay has definitely changed in modern games where th this is more of exploring and looking. Oh dear! My goodness! That took me by surprise. It's not very pleasant down here at all, is it? Oh 
dear. Okay. Well, this has gone downhill rather fast. As I was saying, yes, game gameplay has definitely changed over the years. There's definitely going into a room, looking for an item, going to the next room, and searching for an item there. And sometimes the items don't make sense until you reach the puzzle. Ah, oh, that's dead, that's for sure. But there's something I like, it seems to fit. This kind of searching room for an item to move to the next area. It seems to fit this kind of game pretty well. It's, uh... It, it does keep with the atmosphere. Like, I find in this... What's this here now? A nutcracker. Now, for some reason, I've picked that up, but I don't know what for, so... Which is typical of a Silent Hill game, is that I've found something. But yet, I have no idea why on earth my character has picked it up. And I have no idea what it's going to be used for. Ah, more supplies. Excellent. Oh, I think that person's dead, Heather. Just more trash and a dead person. Not very nice, isn't it? Oh dear. Right, let's get back out of this area. Go with these dogs and see if we can miss it. Run up here and get out of his way. Okay. Right, which way do we need to go now? Let's pull up the old map. Let's go to the other side and see where that takes us. Ah, that's the locked area. Okay. Let's try down here. What's this? There's a chains holding the doors together are secured with a bolt and nut. The nut is screwed on tight. I can't turn it with my hands. Ah, so that'll be why we picked up this. Rusty and impossible to turn. This is for cracking open nuts. Well, I imagine. There we go. That's why we found it earlier. Excellent. Okay. Let's go this way then. Into the darkness. Hmm. There's a train here. Hearing noises. There's something in here. Oh! Oh my goodness, it's a gun! Gift wrap box? Could it be a birthday present? Excellent, it will that. Hmm, you can hear monsters now. Oh, and shotgun shells. Don't have to be shotgun shells. Excellent, so, let's go on the other side of the rock. The devil is that thing that's laid there. Do you see that? Ooh. Fancy tackling that, not today. Let's go down here, spin the camera back around so I can see properly. Can't get past there, she's not turning around. There's nothing of interest. Okay, let's check this door. Nothing in there. Let's pull up the old map. Okay, so it's blocked at 
that end and I've only got these staircase to go down so let's try this ah now I wonder if that's got anything to do with it dare I jump on the tracks here goes nothing And doors. Oh, we're great fucking here. There's something coming on. God, it's not letting me get up onto the blooming track, that's for sure. There we go. I hope I make it. Come on, Heather. We've got to get off. Thank goodness for that. It's not good for your health. Okay, so. Not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. So I suppose this is the train that we need to catch. Let's start logical order. Start from the end. Try all the doors as we go down. Hmm, perhaps I'm just waiting for a, an open door. Yes. Yes, it would look that way. Well, the train continues on the other side of that barrier, so let's go up the stairs and see if we can get to it to the other side. Completely wrong staircase. How typical of me. Right, let's go back up. Let's check the old staircase again. Okay. where I should have gone. Silly me, I thought it was just going to be locked. I didn't bother. I assumed wrong. Still no open doors on the train. Okay, let's see if... Oh, check that barrier first. Ever. We don't want to make that same mistake again. Right. Let's go up this way. Ah, and we can go back down onto the other side of the barrier. Excellent. Ah, an open door. Good. Okay, so, we're on a rather spooky train, hopefully it's going in the direction we need to be going. Something. Oh, yeah, she's looking at the safe point. No, it's one of those legged shark creature things. Come on, Heather. Knock it out, girl. That pipe's 
quite useful. of trash. Okay. Oh, what's that on the floor? Ah, it's just a magazine. Oh, grief, this is a baby. Oh, he's got a baby with him as well. Oh dear, how big do these things grow to? Very strange monsters. I will have to look up the actual genuine names of those creatures instead of keep calling them shark things. Right, nothing else on this garage. Let's go further up. Another empty juice can. That, oh, she's looked around. First aid kits and shotgun shells. Excellent. Nothing yet. Nothing here either. Aha. this hell train. Okay, which way can we go? Not that way. Well, there is a safe point. We'll use that. Best to be safe, eh? Okay, let's carry on and see if we can Get to our destination through the doors. I love how grainy this hall looks. It's it's really good. I wish I could copy this and, and some of my Minecraft maps would be really fantastic, but there's there's nothing to give you this kind of graininess. My goodness, this is a a long, creepy corridor. Oh. Oh, I don't like those things. I don't even know what they are. I'm just out of there. Or do I have a map if I don't have a map? So I'm running blind at the moment. So, this looks like some kind of horrible maze, doesn't it? Yes, it looks like I'm in some kind of a maze. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Well, I got a mall! A mall! What's a girl going to do with a mall? That's fantastic. An amazing weapon to use. Hmm. Strange fuse boxes and such like. Oof. No. The locker made a sound when I clicked on it. I don't think we'll be going inside that locker. Okay. I'm going to tackle this one just to get it out of the way. Certainly. 
does go a lot quieter when they've all been killed and they're all out of the way. Oh, heck. Well, what do we have here? Good stuff, right. Oh, and we've got a wine bottle. Excellent. Well, this is a, a nice, quiet area. So, I shall leave it here, folks. And I shall catch you all again next episode. Take it easy.